Wallace and Gromit Forever presents PBS 2009 Bloopers 16 Dave's Visit Ready, Sean? Ready, Sam? Places, everyone. Roll camera! Cue the circle. Um, Scotty? Yeah, Sam? Sesame Street was shown on BBS, but it's the wrong logo. What you need here is the BBS logo. I'm on it. I wish I was in Disney. Away, away. In Disneyland I'll take my stand to share the magic of Disney. I can see it now. Big Bird meets Donald Duck and Elmo meets Mickey Mouse. Scotty, Scotty, Scotty. Sam, Sam, Sam. This is not Walt Disney. This is BBS. Get it right. Microsoft Sam. I only queued the Disney logo because it's the company's 100th anniversary. He's right, Sam. He only likes celebrations, that's all. Celebrations or no celebrations, let's at least get things right. Hey, more Looney Tunes? I can just see Bert and Ernie meeting Sylvester and Tweety. As Tweety would say, you bad old puppy cat. As Sylvester would say, suffering sucko cash. We must have forgot that we're not with Dave Madsen again. No wonder we keep swapping studios. Well, not all of us, Rhonda. I don't have to swap studios, because I don't appear in Dave Madsen's videos. Probably, because Dave thinks you're a smelly old bear. Ha 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 Oh, I don't believe it. You started off by giving me the wrong answer. Oh, Martian. Okay, Chris, give that smelly old bear the silent treatment. What happened there? If you're not sure of the answer, then use your lifelines. Oh, Martian. They're playing my song again. Here we go again. Every time the Merry Melodies caption shows up, Microsoft Mary always says, they're playing my song again. I just can't help it. It's a habit I can never get rid of. That's understandable. I would probably react the same way if the caption displayed Mitchell Melodies. Scotty, <laughs> neither Looney Tunes nor Merry Melodies ever broadcasted on public television. Sha, you know Chuck Jones did some Roadrunner segments for the Electric Company in the 1970s. Yeah, but we're not doing LP parodies with Dave Madsen this time. We're trying to get the PPS 2009 logo right. Go oh, easy on him, Sam. You know he's trying his very best. But Peter, why can't I discipline Scotty for his mess-ups? Because you always lose patience with him, and we get bored of it. Rain hell over here, Scotty. <laughs> You see, Sam? Your treatment of Scotty is making us all bored. Even the whole audience is yawning. I don't give a poop about boredom. Scotty, you're fired. Put me down, Sam. Why must you always fire me for no reason? Because you always screw up the PPS 2009 logo, Scotty. Out you go. 
and anyone who rescinds Cobby's firing will be hanged for mutiny. Mutiny schmutiny! We ordered you to bring Scotty back. You said it's the last thing you do. Never. Scotty's firing is justified, you hear? Justified. Justified my butt! If you don't bring Scotty back, you're fired. F*** you, Peter. You don't say F*** you to your boss again, Sam. That's in subordination. Get the life boy! No, not life boy. Anything but life boy. No 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 While Sam's head was dumped in a bucket of life boy for a few minutes, Sean and Peter went out to look for Scotty. They found Scotty trying to jump off a bridge and brought him back. Blah. Gah. Yako. Eeyu. Eeyu. We hope this teaches you a lesson not to drop the f on us again, Sam. And if you want to fire Scotty, you need to ask permission first, you hear me? Yes, sir. Fuck wipes. Be more the surprise? What's the surprise? Sometimes these bloopers are full of surprises. I bet Sean has a surprise up his sleeve. How'd you know? You occasionally hit us with a zinger. Sean has a zinger for us? I don't know about the zinger, but Sean has a surprise. How do you know about the surprise, Sean? I got an email from a familiar face. He's due to arrive any minute. I love surprises, Sean. Here comes the surprise! Hi, Dan. Ah, uh, Big Madsen. Nice to see you again. Welcome to Wallace and Gromit Forever. It's great to have you here, Dave. I wasn't expecting this to happen. I thought I'd pop round for a visit. And because of this, we're prepared to make you a full-time member of staff at this studio. Thanks. I see people here I haven't met. I'm Dave Madsen. I'm Cruz the Autistic Boy. I'm Daniel Bryan. I'm Winnie the Pooh. It's, uh, it's Chris Tarrant on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Good evening. I'm Toad! I'm Mr. Miyagi. I'm Zubashi. I'm known as Peter Public in these videos. And I'm Sean Jones, the creator and owner of this studio. Now that you've all been introduced, let's get back to work. Invited guests, PBS. We invite you to watch public television with us. And watch all of our favorite programs together. Hey, Sean. Do you want to become best friends with me? Sure, Dave. I'd love to. That means we can have fun, enjoy these bloopers, and laugh together. You can also be my friend too, Dave. I might have requests for those LT parodies of yours. Of course we can be friends, Cruz. I don't really take requests though. Yeah, Dave. Cruz is always giving people requests. For example, he requested me to include certain characters in these videos, and that's only because I refuse to make more Behavior Car Day videos. And I only want you to make more of these videos because I miss giving you character requests to them. Well, Cruz, I can say no if I want to, because it's my decision to take your requests or not. Now that's scandalous. Excuse me? I said my breakfast this morning was scrumptious. Oh, okay. It's just that you sound pretty sus to me. Sus, no way I'm an imposter. Among us, PBS. There must be an imposter on the loose. Guys, guys, you're overreacting. This is Texas PHS Mobile with a special news bulletin. There have been reported sightings in the city of a stranger claiming to be Dave Manson. Lola Land agents are trying to track him down, but they lost track of him, meaning that he could be hiding somewhere in the city. 
We'll keep you posted as conditions warrant. Lolo Land agents are tracking Dave. We better hide Dave. Quick. Don't worry, guys. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. Uh oh. Here comes Sergeant O. Randolph. Quick, gang. Act normal. Excuse me, am I interrupting? Not really, Sergeant. You haven't seen the Dave Madsen imposter around, have you? Oh no, Sergeant. He could be anywhere in Lolo Land. Are you sure? I'd better check this place just in case. No need to check. We've been looking all over him, and no sign of him here. Okay, if you insist. But if you see him, please let me know. See you later. Well, how did I do? So, you're an imposter, huh? Imposter? Who are you calling an imposter? Don't lie to us, Dave. We know you're a saucy baka, because you sound so cursed. But how do you like get to have refined voices? I'm confused. Are you really Dave? Of course I am. What's that awful smell? Must be me farting. Funny. It's not that kind of smell. I think I smell fake skin. Come on, guys. If you try to sin me, I would probably die. No, Dave. You are an imposter. Take this. Jiminy Christmas. It was an evil version of Dave Madsen all along. We can't believe you easily fooled us. And the reason why I'm here is because Sean is refusing to take any of Cruzy autistic boy's requests. See, Sean. If only you took my requests, none of this would have happened. I'm sorry, my American friend, but I've got to stick to my New Year's resolution! Take it easy. Cruz the autistic boy. You know it's his life. Stay. Cool. Uh oh. Tantrum is coming on now. No, 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 no. Bam, 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 crumb, 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 Sean Jones. If you refuse to take my request once more, you'll be in danger more than anyone you hear me. Four eyes, 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 four eyes. Throwing tantrums over it won't get me to do them. I'm sorry I did, but I think you should have come up with a different New Year's resolution. New Year's resolutions are scandalous. I'm taking Sean to Hades to see the chairman. And if anyone tries to stop me, you will have bigger company. What do you mean? No, no, no! Not Volcana Ash again! I just like the common cold. I keep coming back. So, this Dave Madsen imposter was in league with the Dark Realm all along. Correct. And Sean is coming with us for his shameful actions. You can't claim me for something trivial! Be gone! You take us off, Sean Bones. We are poop all over you for brushing me aside. What's going on here? Looks like Volcana with a Dave Madsen imposter intruding this studio. We'll drive them back to Doomsville. Don't let those matters get the best of us, Volcano. Not to worry, Evil Dave. I'll give Rhonda such a quick emotion deal with she were a man. Trick yeah, Volcano. I'm immune to shin kicks, because I have lead pants on. Thank you, Rhonda. I wish they could wear wearing lead pants illegal. I hope that you are satisfied, Rhonda. For this, we claim you too. Not without any conclusive proof of guilt first! Scandalous. By rights, we should poop all over Sean and Rhonda for their actions here. Indeed, evil Dave, but the chairman ordered us to stop such actions because they almighty forbade it to brand the victims as ours, since Sean Bone still has this strike on YouTube. And never will I allow such a thing to happen, since Sean's strike period isn't over yet. That really ticks us off, Volcana, to something. Let's see Matt try to handle this, Sean. Take that. You suck you boss. You knocked out my British friend. Do you want me to knock you out too, you butt like? No. Then stop interfering with our plans. You foul you felons foul of, of the field of, of the, the fallen. fallen. Take, Take that. that. <laughs> Oh.
curses pardoned by the Almighty that our landing hurts us. Our master is going to kill us. Oh, our raking belly buttons. Sean, are you okay? Still out cold. I can fix that. Later, after Rhonda used her powers to help Sean recover. Who? What? Where am I? Relax, Sean. It's all over now. The Almighty sent Vulcana and the Dave Madsen imposter back to the realm, and you're going to be okay. You may resume your video. Thank, Thank God. God. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, by the way, Uh oh. Me thinks I goofed again. You think right, Scotty. Looks like another one of those days. I agree, Sam. I'm so glad that evil Dave's gone now. Any news on the Dave Madsen imposter yet? Yes, Sergeant. It turns out that he was actually in league with the Dark Realm, but he's nowhere to be found now because the Almighty and his angels drove him away. Good for you, Sean. We were going to have him executed, but I'm glad that the Divine Towers have sorted him out. Shall we try again, Sean? Uh, not now, Peter. It's been a very tiring day. But before we end this video, I would just like to say that when you're on YouTube, it's okay to do the same ideas. Just don't usurp my channel name and my videos! This has been a Wallace and Gromit Forever production.